Now, let's look at this question on the exponential family of distribution. Suppose that y is a random variable belonging to a special subset of exponential family. Density function of y is given like this. Okay, this is the density function for some constant theta and phi and functions b and c. I need to find out the moment generating function of y. What is the moment generating function of y? The expected value of e to the power of ty is the moment generating function of y. So which means this is nothing but I integrate it over e to the power of ty I integrate it over e to the power of ty and e to the power of or f of f of y theta pi dt. Right? So which means I could very well integrate it as e to the power of ty times e to the power of y theta minus b of theta by phi plus c of y comma phi. Now this entire thing is going into if I take it uh, inside it is becoming e to the power of y theta ty plus y theta minus b of theta by phi plus c of y comma phi. Again, a simplification, if I am taking y out, e to the power of y times t phi plus theta minus b of theta divided by phi plus c of y comma phi. Now, here I want to make a small adjustment. I will uh, add e to the, uh, I mean, I will, uh, in the power, I'll uh, simply add, I'll simply add b of theta plus t phi and again subtract b of theta plus t phi. No issues. Minus b of theta plus c of y comma phi. This entire thing again I'll divide it by phi. Now comes Right, I will take out where y is not involved or probably I am uh, taking out e, uh, I will take out e to the power of e to the power of b of theta plus t phi minus b of theta that if I take out it is re remaining y t theta plus t phi plus theta minus b of theta plus t phi divided by phi plus c of y comma phi. Now think of this, y of, if I am assuming theta plus t phi is equal to some k, it is e to the power of y k minus b of k by phi plus c of y comma phi. So this is again another density function itself. And because this is a density function by itself, right, because this is a density function by itself, and the integral of this is coming out to be equal to 1. So this I can very well ignore. Now what is this that is uh, still left? e to the power of b of theta plus uh, uh, theta plus t phi minus b of theta. Now because here also I have to take out phi. So this is this is what is left. This integral entire integral is becoming 1 because it is a density function again. The integral of a density function which is uh, the, the, the over the over the whole area the integral of a probability density function is 1, which means 
the value of the moment generating function is e to the power of b of theta plus t phi minus b of theta by phi. Right? So, this is uh, a simple way to derive the first one. Then, the question is asking me, show that expected value of y. Okay, this is e to the power, I mean, uh, the, the moment generating function. Okay, now, the, this is the moment generating function. What is the, the way we find uh, expected value of y? I do the m dash of t where t equal to 0. That is what is the expected value. So, expected value of x is nothing but m dash of 0. So, I know that this is m, m of t. So, m dash will come out as b of theta plus t phi minus b of theta by phi Right, because e to the power of x is e to the power of x itself. So, which is nothing but my of t. This is what is the differentiation. So, in case of uh, now the derivative, right, this is m dash of t. I put t equal to 0. If I am putting a t equal to 0, it is coming out as b of theta minus b of theta divided by, uh, okay, and here I have to even do a, okay, let me see, b of theta plus, uh, let's just try it out again, e to the power of this, so the integral, or the so the differentiation of m dash, m da differentiation m dash is nothing but, so e to the power of this, which is m y of t, and after that I am taking the differentiation of this with respect to t. Right, uh, I have to take the differentiation of this with respect to t. Okay, Where, what is the differentiation of this with respect to t? I'll take 1 by phi out. B dash of theta plus t phi times phi minus integral of, uh, I mean minus the differentiation of B of theta is 0 itself with respect to t. So, if I am looking at it, this is nothing but m y of t b dash of theta plus t phi. Now, I have to take it uh, at t equal to 0, which becomes uh, m of t times b dash of 0. Sorry, b dash of theta because t is 0. Now, m of t, when, when I am putting t equal to 0 here, it is becoming e to the power of b theta minus b of theta by phi. So, this part is becoming 1. 1 times b dash of theta coming out to b dash of theta. So, the expected value of y is coming out to b dash of theta straight forward. Now, similarly, I am asked to find out the variance of y. So, for that I will find expected value of x squared or expected value of y squared. How do I find out the expected value of y squared? I will take it as ym double dash at 0. That will give me the expected value of y squared. So, what was the m dash of t first of all? m dash of t we have got it. m of t. And uh, we got it uh, as 1 by 5 times b dash of theta plus t phi times phi. So, actually it is coming out as m dash of t is coming out to me as m of t times b dash of theta plus t phi. So, I will take one more m double dash of t which becomes m of t times b double dash of theta plus t phi times phi plus b dash of theta plus t phi times m dash of t right and uh, 
m dash of t i know it is uh, nothing but m of t times b w dash so which is becoming m of t times b double dash theta plus t phi times phi plus b dash theta plus t phi m dash of t is nothing but again b dash theta plus t phi times m of t and we know when i am putting m of uh, t it's now when i put 0 m of 0 i know it is 1 so it becomes b double dash t is 0 now if t is 0 it becomes b double dash of theta times phi plus b dash theta times b dash theta so it comes b double dash theta times phi plus b dash theta square now this is becoming expected value of x square and now i can uh, look at variance of y is nothing but expected value of y squared minus expected value of y whole squared now expected value of y squared we have got b double dash of theta times phi plus b dash of theta squared minus expected value of y is also b dash of theta only squared so these two go up which gives me phi times b double dash of theta so which is what is coming out as a part of the result here so we are able to prove this as well as this verify the result in one holds if y has a poisson distribution okay what is uh, the situation for a poisson distribution here how does the poisson distribution work the uh, probability density function is lambda per x e per minus lambda by x factorial so this is what i'll have to write in the exponential form e to the power of log lambda per x which is nothing but x log lambda right uh, uh, and uh, this is anyhow e to the power of minus lambda e to the power of minus log x factorial right so this is what will happen okay so now this entire thing is working out to e to the power of x log lambda minus lambda plus log x factorial so now I can think of theta is log lambda. So B of theta will become, now I am thinking of theta is log lambda. If I say theta is log lambda, B of theta for me, it should be equal to lambda. So how do I get lambda equal to e power theta? So, B of theta is e power theta. Phi is 1. Right? Uh, so, when I am taking phi is 1 and C of y comma phi, I am taking it as log or C of x comma phi, I am taking it as log x factorial. So, wherever x is there, you try to replace it with y. Right? Okay. So, this is what it is. Which means... The same logic now, when I am uh, talking of the moment generating uh, function, again I could very clearly uh, look at e to the power of b times theta plus, right, uh, we know what is theta, b of theta plus t phi minus b of theta by phi, now everything, now I know what is uh, theta, now I can equate all the stuff, right. Now theta for me is uh, log log lambda, 
right b of theta is e power theta now i can substitute all of them so the substitution is giving me e to the power of right i am giving a e to the power of y theta y log lambda minus b of theta b of theta for me is lambda divided by phi is 1 and c is log x factorial so the moment generating function what is that i can do now e to the power of if i am using this b of theta plus t phi what is b of theta for me e power theta so it is becoming e to the power of in place of theta i will have to put theta plus t phi phi i have taken it as 1 so this i'll write it as theta plus t minus b of theta is e power theta divided by phi now this is what is becoming the moment generating function in that case now i can uh, very well uh, find out the b dash of theta so the mean is b dash of theta which is nothing but uh, e power theta only which is lambda then the variance is phi times b double dash of theta phi is 1 so b double dash of theta is also e power theta which is lambda and even from here i can uh, find out this is the moment generating function so if i really uh, have to uh, find out the derivative of this right the first derivative of this m dash of the e power this so with respect to t if i am doing e power this uh, so if i put t equal to 0 it is e power uh, uh, e power 0 which is 1 so this is uh, becoming m y of t times now i take the derivative of this e power theta plus t right e power uh, theta plus t is becoming e power e power theta times uh, e power uh, t t equal to 0 is 1 so e power theta is what is coming out as the first derivative which is nothing but the lambda so again it's the same thing so even if it is a poisson distribution also i am seeing that the same relationship is holding true right